After watching this video, you're probably never going to spend another penny on chain spray again. Hi, how are you doing? Welcome back. My name is John and firstly, most important thing of all is to say that I am not a mechanic, I am a traveller. Okay, so each time I take my bike out of the garage, it's to do many kilometers and maybe thousands of kilometers at a time. So in this respect, I actually know what I'm talking about. So like many of you, I also used to lube up my chain with chain spray lubricant. Um, one day I was uh, scrolling through the owner's manual and on the maintenance section, uh, I saw a little section there about chain maintenance that said specifically that uh, all you need to lubricate your chain was heavy duty oil. So that clicked for me. I bought myself one of these, filled it up with heavy duty oil, started applying it on the chain and never looked back. So why do we have to lubricate our chain? We don't have to lubricate our chain for our chain to be flexible and to work, okay? Because that's taken care of, at least with O-ring chains, that's taken care of in the factory. Uh, the pins are actually pre-lubricated and that lubrication will last until the end of the life cycle of that chain. Then of course you have the O-rings to keep everything together and to keep that oil, that lubrication from jumping out. So basically we just lube up our chains to make the transmission nice and smooth for a smoother ride and of course to um, avoid all the tear and wear from the metal friction. Okay, so that's the only reason we lube our chains is just to avoid wear and tear and to make the um, ride smooth, the transmission smoother, and of course this is metal, and to avoid it from getting rusty. And so with that all out of the way, now we're gonna go into the advantages that probably made you click on this video in the first place. Okay, so first of all, this costs me cents. Okay, this probably costs me about maybe 10 or 15 or 20 cents. What's inside here? Of course, I had to buy the can. I'm not sure how much it costs. Doesn't say here, probably about maybe four or five euros. Uh, and of course, I've had this for many years. It's small, it's compact, it fits inside uh, any compartment of the bike uh, where you would usually put your chain spray anyway, so that's not a problem. And it costs cents, whilst a can of, of chain spray will probably set you back anywhere in between 10 to 20 euros, a good quality can of uh, chain spray. This costs you cents. Second advantage, in my opinion, is um, cleaning. Okay, because uh, chain spray is hideous to get off your, your, your bike, your wheels, your sprockets, and you know that, okay? It's just so difficult, it's, it just accumulates that nasty gunk, and if you leave it on there for a long time, it's really difficult to wash off, to scrape off, or to rinse off however way you try and remove it. With oil, uh, however, you just have to clean it with a cloth, a cloth, okay? And it will all just come off. Usually when I um, wash my motorcycle, I will usually uh, in the first step, I'll take it to a car wash and give it a nice uh, power spray, power, you know, hosing, uh, you know, just to leave uh, all that nasty stuff uh, at the car wash because they're prepared for that, they have proper drainage, and so I don't leave that at the door of my house because, you know, sometimes um, those little blocks of, of oil uh, may fall on the floor, then you'll step on it and take that stuff into your home, onto your carpets, so usually I'll avoid that as much as possible and just give it a nice a power spray at the car, the car wash, that's what they're there for, and then come home and take care of the rest. And at this point, I'm gonna show you how to properly lube up your chain because I have seen so many people lubing up their chains and just not lubing it up properly, possibly because they don't really understand the real concept of why you should lube up your chain. So don't forget, we just lube up our chains so the transmission is smoother, okay? And so, and to avoid wear and tear, and to avoid our chain from getting rusty. Okay, so let's go. Let's just show you, position the camera. So first step, I'm gonna put on my gloves, okay? I always like to have a pair of gloves on my motorcycle or a few pairs of gloves. They're small, they're compact, and they are useful for many things, especially lubing up your chain. And of course, and not getting your hands all filthy, because I don't feel see any point in that. Okay, here we go, gloves on. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my, my little gun thing, you can use whatever you like. So you do not lube on the outside of your chain, okay? You do not do that, that is, it's just unnecessary and most of the oil or spray, whatever you're using, will just jump off if you do that. How, where do you lube your chain? On the inside, 
okay? So my chain does not need lubing up. This is just for, for uh, ed educational purposes. But basically, you just, you just lube up your chain on the inside, okay? When you're happy with the amount of oil you put on, just send the wheel spinning a few times. Don't put too much, okay? There's no point in putting too much. As I said before, your chain does not need to be lubricated for the o-rings to work properly you just do it to smoothen up your transmission okay here you go that's done as you can see my chain is a little bit dirty okay my chain the spock is a little bit dirty i actually left it like that uh, purposely just so you can understand how easy uh, it is to clean your chain uh, if you only use oil which for me is one of the huge advantages of using oil and not using those those uh, chain sprays that just stick and glue everywhere okay so here we go so we can see the chain the sprock is a little bit dirty here and so all i'm going to do look look at that look at that can you see let's try and do it the other way around can you see how it all comes off easily just with a cloth just with a cloth and the oil of the actual chain okay of course if, if i was going to clean it properly you know really 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 properly um i'd use um something a little more aggressive but for the most part, uh, you can get your chain very, very clean and your sprockets very clean just by using a regular cloth. And you will not be able to do this with uh, chain spray. It's completely impossible. Same thing goes to the wheels, okay? So I'm not sure if you can actually see the wheel right now, but here it's a little bit dirty. See? Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> can you actually see that? Can you actually see how easy it is to clean your wheel? Look. Look at that. If I want, I can actually apply just a tiny little bit of oil to help all this rubbish come off, although it's not the best way, but it's just for, for the video's sake, okay? So just look at that. Look at how easy all that gunk comes off. Oh no, there's not really much gunk on it anyway. And you would never be able to do that with your chain spray. Look, this is even white. This is, this is supposed to be white. Look, look at that. Look at that, how most of it all just comes off. And this was a normal, um, piece of cloth. Look at that. So that's the main advantages I see in using uh, oil instead of using chain spray. Uh, you can do whatever you want. I hope this video helped you out or taught you at least to lubricate your chain properly. Uh, as you can see, um, my chain is a little bit dirty, a little bit rusty already on the outside. So what I'm going to do here is just uh, take off the excess oil from the chain. This, isn't, this video is not about cleaning the chain or the sprockets, okay? This is just about applying when you're traveling. Of course, if I was cleaning at home, uh, I would do this several times until everything is nice and clean. But look, look, look how, how, how it's starting to get clean. And of course, if I keep on going at this, it'll all come, all this rubbish will come off. And of course, applying um, uh, pressure hose We'll just take off the rest anyway. We'll leave your chain basically nice and dry, which is something that you can never do with uh, chain spray. Okay, so that's that for today. That's the end of my video. Uh, as I said before, I hope it was interesting for you. If it was, give me a, a like or a thumbs up, stuff like that. And if you'd like to um, find out some other cool stuff that come from a bike traveler, uh, subscribe to my channel and see you next time. Take care. My name is John. Happy, safe riding.